Yo, what's up guys, it's Clapped here. Uh, Stories of the Week, Rise in the Ranks just dropped. Uh, we got the new players in the game. I have not opened the booster packs yet. I plan on doing that in just one second. Uh, I'm going to go over the cards here because we do have a slight change. With the drop of 92s, with the LTB being a 93, that means that we also get 90s as the second lower tier which is very good because 90s can still play on a lot of people's teams, including mine. If I get this 90 middle linebacker, 90 left tackle, he's going to be a starter for me, so that's pretty good. Alongside there also being higher chase cards. So I honestly like that addition. Uh, these cards are pretty good. I mean, they're not the greatest, greatest, but, I mean, 88 speed, 90 excel. You got 89 zone coverage, 88 tackle. I mean, that's a very good card. He's not going to get after the quarterback, but – he is going to play some great zone coverage for you. Um, this left tackle, he is very, very good, in my opinion. He's got 88 strength, uh, eight, 92 pass block finesse. He's pretty good at run block finesse. Not very good at power for run block, but very good run block finesse, pass block finesse. Just a pretty good overall card. And uh, the receiver, I don't think I could use him. I think my receivers are a little bit faster, but he is a 90 speed receiver, uh, 90 catching, 90 short route run, 92 medium route run, 80 deep route run. So he's really, really not going to get open downfield uh, on any deep posts or anything like that. Uh, very weak juke move, spin move. So not a very good card, but he'll be, he'll at least be usable in uh, the game. And of course, you got the left guard and you got the left outside linebacker that y'all seen. We'll go over those quickly. Um, I mean, 90 strength. This dude's a pretty good left guard. Uh, they do have that other 90. I'm sure his price will drop. So if, to people that had him, that is pretty unfortunate. But And then, of course, we got the left outside linebacker. I also don't know why the card art's not showing, but he is also not going to get after the quarterback, but... He does have very good tackling, very good play rec, very good block shed, very good everything besides finesse and power move to get after the quarterback, that is. Um, very good overall card if that fits your play style. But, yeah. And then we got, of course, the strong safety, which is going to be the best strong safety, best safety almost. I would say, yeah, best safety in the game with weak coverage, but still very good. 86 zone is, but he's got 95 tackle, 95 excel, which arguably might make him the best card in the game, honestly, for defense. It's going to be tough, though. Um, I know that a uh, very good card in Ed Reed only has, I think, 80 man coverage, so the man coverage really isn't that big of a deal. It's obviously better than the best free safety, and zone coverage being at 86 still is, still is very usable. All right, guys, we're going to get into the pack opening. We do have these in the shop. This is 189, 287. You have a very, very high chance at a 91. Pretty good chance at a 92. These packs aren't the worst. Still wouldn't be spending 3800 on them, I don't think. Uh, these ones are B&Ds with the same odds. That's actually a very, very good deal, in my opinion. If you are trying to, if you are looking to use B&D cards, you do have a pretty high chance. Usually these packs are very, very expensive, honestly. At like I'm pretty sure the last BND one was at least 2800 so them knocking it down was a very big W for those people that use that. The bundle, obviously, you get that. You get a 91+, plus, so that's always good. And uh, you get these packs, the fantasy packs. Odds on those are all right. Uh... They did refresh these BND coin packs as well. So I know a lot. Ooh, and with updated odds. I know a lot of people liked these. They were at like a 3.9% chance at pulling a 90. And with it bumping up to 11, I might have to actually rip rip a couple of these. But uh, we'll go ahead and get into the main pull in here with the booster packs. Start off with this one. We got a 10% chance at a 91. So let's go ahead and rip it. Not expecting anything too much out of these first packs, but LTD. 
Let's go, baby. Back to back LTDs for y'all guys on the video. Out of the first pack, one card LTD, baby. That is what I'm talking about. That is some great, great pulls right there. Let's go on to this coin pack. I am not even... I do not even really care what I pull. Now that I pulled that. Honestly, uh... That caught me off guard, guys. Honestly. Whew. I'm a little shook up after that. Alright, let's get into this next one. We got an 87 plus. 183 plus. Let's open her up. Blue animation. Out of the 83 plus slot, 88 Warren Sap. We will take that. That is not out of the 83 plus slot. That is a great pull, and we do get an 88, the same one as last time. But this all will rack up, and we will get some training. 189, 387s, pretty good odds. I believe that's the same as this. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, yeah, so we'll rip these real quick. Forgot to rip these. We'll rip these real quick before we rip that last pack. Doesn't look like we hit anything. So let's go on to this last pack. Hopefully we don't get the LTD again. I know that's very odd to say, but we are looking for a 90 plus 89. Hopefully that is not our 89 plus. That would be severely severely unfortunate let's see here not a 90 87 we do get a 90 pull and it is one i already have very very unfortunate guys but we do hit the ltd so i cannot complain um i mean this guy will quick sell for a little bit of training yeah 5400 that's a very it's a decent amount of training. All all my training combined should get me enough to open some uh, training packs up for you guys. But we will take that. Boys, 16000 for one training pack. I ripped one for y'all last time. Pulled the LTD out of it. So guess what? We're going to rip one more. I was thinking about ripping the BNDs. But I say go big or go home. Let's pull a sellable one. Let's go. Aw, oh, show me something at least higher. 88. That is not what we want to see, but at least that is some coins I can make. All right, boys. I did get a tad bit more points. We are going to rip two of these BND packs for y'all. Hopefully, we pull something good. Hopefully, we don't pull any duplicates. Let's see something good. Wait. Nope. That is not what we want to see. And neither is that... We will take a 89, though. That is some at least all right training we can make back. And let's rip one more. Come on, show me the money. I believe this is not the Rise of the Ranks player, and it is. Okay. He is a very good card, but I already have him pulled him out of a training pack, so that is very unfortunate. Oh, well, I guess one of those wasn't the Rise of the Ranks pull, and we just got it out of the slot but we will take that i guess that's some training i think that's enough to open up maybe one of these yeah so we'll do that real quick for y'all guys open up one show me something good 89 and 88 that is not what we want to see boys but we cannot complain we did pull the ltd on the first pack so we will take it boys all right boys with that st uh, LTD pull that does make our team look a lot better. Our defense is absolutely insane. I did have Romello Height here, and I had Curse actually over here on the right end. I sold Romello Height for pretty cheap. I think I sold him for about 50k. Some people would argue that's not worth it, but I did pull Curse B and D, and I did really want Rucker. Seen Rucker at I think I think I caught him for 98k. So I did snag him. That's a pretty good deal on him to be my right end. So my defense is looking very, very good. And uh, yeah, so that was, a, I'd say, a very good pack opening. 
in my eyes. We did pull the LTD first pack. So, yeah, I can't complain. We've hit that LTD uh, today. We hit it last drop. We I think we've hit it four drops in a row, boys. So, we'll see on Friday if we can keep that luck going. Thank y'all for watching. I'll catch y'all back with another banger.